Welcome back. Today is going to be a reaction to Nini versus Kenya in Greece. This is two parts. Um, this is around the time Kenya was going through her problems with Mark. So that was just the silver bullet that everybody was using on her. Um, Nini tried to like apologize to her in the beginning, but Nini, I mean, but Kenya didn't accept it. And yeah, it was just, it didn't get better from there. So. So now they're at like this ruins party, I think, that Portia and Tanya threw um, because they just wanted everybody to discuss their issues. Y'all know how this goes. I mean, things get discussed, but nothing gets resolved. <laughs> so let's get into the video. Your hair be looking nice. I told myself I was gonna try go naked one day. So we got the popcorn in case anybody wants to enjoy it. Hello, hello. hello. So what's up, hostess? With the most who has taken over our trip, we appreciate you, lovely hostess. How we have enjoyed this trip so far. We appreciate y'all letting us give y'all a little break for tonight and just letting us kind of kick it back on it. Okay. Why are they rolling their eyes? Into the ruins, and we are going to leave it there, and we are going to never visit again. This is really about positivity. And Were they mad about them taking over the trip? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, they just did one little. Well, I don't know. Has anyone ever done that on the trip? I don't know, but I don't think it was that big of a deal. <laughs> Spirit of being queens. Everybody gets a crown. So if you are speaking, first hold the crown. Whomever you would like. Why they like? <laughs> why they got these looks? Or if you get something negative that y'all can get rid of, you hand it to the individual. Okay. Okay. Let me take it. Oh, great. Okay. Here you go. Go ahead and tell us what you and Nene talked about then. Since y'all said y'all was going. That's why was Candy so worried about them making up? Like this, was this the one where Portia was like, <laughs> I was so lost without you. <laughs> if that was that talk, Candy was like super pressed over that for no reason. Like I remember when she first like mimicked the conversation, like she was mocking Portia. It was funny, but like she kept doing it in every interview and it was like, okay, like why do you care so much? Like why does she care that they made up? And then here, like, you're going to ask her to tell everybody what y'all talked about. Why? Who cares? All you need to know is that we're good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> here you go. Oh, I got to end my time? <laughs> <laughs> she wants me to start, so I'm going to start. Um, Nene and I definitely had an issue that we ended up taking public, and it got really, really ugly. And then we both gave up on the friendship. But today, we had a conversation at the vineyard, and it was a lot of tears. It was a lot of just expressing ourselves to each other, something we hadn't really done. And I'm just happy to have her back in my life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. After hearing everything that I've heard Portia say about Nene, I think she would just be the last person to fall for Nene's BS. Anybody else? I don't like how they do okay. that. I don't like how, like, when you're not friends with somebody, you're not friends with them. Don't try to convince other people to not be friends with them. That's so high school and corny. Also, the people who fall into those traps and are naive enough to just, like, pick sides is corny, too. So I actually, like, respected Portia for, like, working, like, having her own mind. And, like, no, I want to talk this out with Nene, so I'm going to talk this out with Nene. I don't care how the entire group feels about her. Like, that was just so corny. Like, they will always try to ice Nene out to me. And that was just weird. Like, why y'all so pressed? <laughs> about Kenya was when we were having the dinner and drinks in the sky I felt like 
initially we were kind of joking around about the Bailey wine cellar in that moment honestly I was just gonna have a good time and I was like okay you know I'm just gonna why go they looking and at and each other kind of all of these looks are killing me and kept going and then it just started to feel like okay is it really a joke or am I the joke you're never the joke honestly it was just me being silly and having fun I'm sorry for hurting your feelings I think your businesses speak for themselves I'm always going to applaud you. You're queen. You're my sister. And that's not going to change. So, all right. Well, that's what I had to say. Well, thank hey, you. Good deal, ladies. That is beautiful. Cynthia will never hold Kenya accountable. Mm. No. I know some people say she did hold her accountable. She called her out and can you apologize? But it's just like, it's just certain things like you should have, you know, enough common sense not to do. And it's like, at what point do you just realize this person is not your friend? Like she tried to ruin your engagement. She tried to downplay your knowledge about businesses. That's just not something friends do. And even though she apologized, that's just something you should have had enough sense to know not to do in the first place. Like it's clear that you don't know how to be a friend. So I don't know. I, I mean, I get what Nene is saying. Like, and Nene definitely would have been held to a higher standard with that because I feel like the ruin then ruining somebody's engagement is probably up there with the Peter comment because either way, like they're disrespecting your marriage. Like she tried to take the happiest moment of your life away from you. What if you had believed her and you was like, oh my God, looking for like cues and everything. And honestly, I feel like Cynthia had put it together because after Kenya said that, that's when her family showed up and her, she was like, you know, I don't think that, um, he's going to propose to me tonight because my mom will be here. Then she saw her mom. So I feel like Cynthia started putting it together in her head, especially after Kenya had said that. Of course, Kenya would know that you're getting proposed to when she's your best friend at the moment. So, um, I do feel like she does not really hold Kenya accountable. They want a hug. Let them hug. Yeah. You let him, supposedly your good friend, ruin your engagement, bash your business. That's what I just said. <laughs> friends make mistakes. That's crazy. I did not know she was going to say all that. I don't really understand the tiptoeing. <laughs> the tiptoeing that you would have gone harder. Cynthia is Kenya's punk. Believe that. Well, I, I we were closer that. than anybody in this circle, and that includes her. Right. Okay. Right. Well, the right. things well, change. So, well, well, you changed because you wanted to change because you are a big ass bully, bitch. Wait a minute. They I both bullies. Me a bitch. What, what is this? What you gonna say about it? <laughs> what you doing about it? Wait, what do you want? What do you want me to fight you? What are you no, talking you about? What am I you gonna do about it? All you can do is run your mouth. <laughs> Didi try to fight. I don't understand what the problem is between the two of them. I mean, you just oh, called her bipolar. You are bipolar. That's why you had to grovel and ask for to be friends with everybody. Bipolar Kenya. Go get your medication. That's why your husband left, bitch. Because you're bipolar. been waiting to say that one. Yeah. Um. I don't. I mean, like. Yes, yeah, she called you to be weird. I don't really like how people throw around words like that or bipolar this or words like that in general, like that have to do with mental health because it's a lot going on in the world today with people like taking their lives and stuff. And then also everyone is acting like they're like so like mental health awareness and oh, you know, I'm taking care of my mental health. But now everyone is just throwing these words around. That's a serious claim to call somebody bipolar. Like that's really a mental illness. You don't know what's going on with her.
just because she's happy one day, sad one day, that's not what bipolar means. Or like when people be like, I'm depressed because you had a bad day. Like you're not depressed. I don't like when people throw around words like that. So, I mean, you started it first, Ken. You called the girl bipolar. Everybody, stop! Mark is twirling right on out of the marriage. Him and his nose. Right? <laughs> Bye, Mark. I know who Nina is. She's fake and she's phony. That's why your husband can't deal with you, man. sympathy, the first night when we were there, was all bullshit. I've been through a divorce, then I would really want to know if you're okay. And this is just another example of why I think Mimi is a disgusting person. No, let her be ugly. You're as ugly as you look on the inside and outside. A teacher whore, bitch, you wish, bitch. Bitch, you can't even blink your eyes. Bitch, I don't have anything on my eyes, bitch. You can't blink your eyes. Um, I, I agree with Nene. I think that Cynthia gives Kenya a lot of passes, but, um, I did, somebody did say in the comments that they're no longer friends because they went on the, the ultimate girl trip show and something happened and they're, I guess they're not as close as they used to be. Um, I'm not really surprised after Cynthia was off the show, I was like, okay, well, there goes their friendship because they were only friends for the show. In my opinion, like I know they hung out in real life and stuff, but I, I just never believed that they were real friends. Um, clearly, like all of the stuff that they did to each other, friends don't do that stuff to each other. So I wasn't shocked. Um, let me know what you guys thought about that. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys in part two. Bye.